Hi, I'm Stephanie from History Unboxed. Thanks for joining me today. Today I will be sharing with you the Ballad of Mulan from Ming Dynasty China. You might be familiar with the story of Hua Mulan from a Disney movie. In fact, this story dates back to the 5th century in China. Most historians believe that Mulan was an entirely fictional person, but her story remained popular for centuries in China. She went to war against invading Mongols, and in a society where Mongol rulers had recently been deposed, it's easy to see why the Han Chinese admired her. The sound of one sigh after another as Mulan weaves at the doorway. No sound of the loom and shuttle, only that of the girl lamenting. Ask of her whom she thinks. Ask her for whom she longs. There is no one I think of. There is no one I long for. Last night, I saw the army notice. The Khan is calling a great draft, a dozen volumes of battle rolls, each one with my father's name. My father has no grown-up son, and I have no elder brother. I'm willing to buy a horse and saddle to go to battle in my father's place. She buys a fine steed at the East Market, a saddle and a blanket at the West Market, a bridle at the South Market, and a long whip at the North Market. She takes leave of her parents at dawn to camp beside the Yellow River at dusk. No sound of her parents hailing their girl, just the rumbling waters of the Yellow River. She leaves the Yellow River at dawn to reach the Black Mountains by dusk. No sound of her parents hailing their girl, just the cries of barbarian cavalry in the Yan Hills. Ten thousand miles she rode in war, crossing passes and mountains as if on a wing. On the northern air comes the sentry's gong. Cold light shines on her coat of steel. The general, dead after a hundred battles, the warriors return after ten years. They return to see the son of heaven who sits in the hall of brilliance. The rolls of merit spin a dozen times, rewards in the hundreds and thousands. The Khan asks her what she desires. I've no need for the post of a gentleman official. I ask to borrow a camel fleet of foot to carry me back to my hometown. Her parents, hearing their girl returns, out to the suburbs to welcome her back. Elder sister, Hearing her sister returns, adjusts her rouge by the doorway. Little brother, hearing his sister returns, sharpens his knife for pigs and lamb. I open my east chamber door and sit on my west chamber bed. I take off my battle cloak and put on my old time clothes. I adjust my wispy hair at the window sill and apply my bisque makeup by the mirror. I step out to see my comrades in arms. They are all surprised and astounded. We traveled 12 years together, yet didn't realize Mulan was a lady. The buck bounds here and there, while the doe has narrow eyes. But when the two rabbits run side by side, how can you tell the female from the male? Thank you for joining us today for this story of Hua Mulan from Ming Dynasty China. We hope you will like and subscribe to our channel so that you can hear more stories from history. The story of history, after all, never ends. For more hands-on history adventures, visit our website at historyunboxed.com. Bye.